problems in your life to re to understand them they are they manifest in the physical realm but their roots is in the spiritual realm but as he went in prayer in fasting the Lord showed him the root of his problems and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ during those 40 days the Lord will show you the roots of your problem stubborn stubborn problems that refuse to go away stubborn sicknesses that refuse to go away stubborn circumstances that refuse to go away God is gonna give you revelation he's gonna shine light in the darkness and you're gonna see the roots of those problems and they will be solved forever and somebody shout glory So one of the things that happens in fasting is revelation. Light starts to break in darkness. And there are areas if God does not bring the light in those areas, you will never understand, you will never see, you will never figure out what's going on. If God didn't come down and explain to this man the root of his problem, he would have never known the problem occurred 300 years before he was born. It takes a revelation from God to understand the root of that problem. But I declare all your problems, they'll be uprooted by divine revelations in Jesus' name. Amen. So the first thing the Lord said would happen, verse 8. He said, your light will break forth like the morning. The second blessing that happens when you're fasting, the Lord says, if you will fast the way that I want it, he said, then your healing will spring forth speedily so the second blessing of fasting is supernatural healing not only there is supernatural revelation but there is also supernatural healing uh, healings happens in fasting and we've had many testimonies of healings um, at tabernacle of glory hundreds of them and probably by now thousands definitely I have a I have hundreds of them documented myself uh, but you know, without counting all the ones that we don't know, etc., or we couldn't document. But there is one, there is one particular testimony I, that has marked me, and I believe has marked this church. Uh, I forgot which year it was. We were doing our 40 days in the gym. It may have been, it may have been 2016 or 17. I don't know. But anyway, we were doing our 40 day fast in the gym. Uh, in the gym, and one night we were praying the life of God and we I read that verse that says that we are partakers of God's nature the Bible says that we are partakers of God's nature we have God's nature which means we have his DNA and we started praying about that and I started saying that if we have God's DNA it means life is carried through the DNA so it means that we have the very life of God in us. And we started praying that verse. Father, let your light be, let your DNA, let, the, let God's DNA be manifested in me. We were praying, uh, we were praying that, uh, you know, praying that prayer. And then there was a, a woman who was listening to us at home, um, over the radio at home. And as we were praying that prayer, instead of praying the prayer for herself, she started praying the prayer for her son. What was the problem with the son is that the son, since he was a child, was, uh, was, was um, deaf and mute. Deaf and mute. Couldn't hear and couldn't speak. And she started praying for her child. How old was the child now? 42 years old. And she started praying. But, but praise God, you know, she's a woman of faith. At 42 years old, your child has not spoken and has not heard, and you still believe that God can do it. Oh my goodness, she taught me a lesson on faith, that you should never, ever give up. I'm sure she's been praying since that child was, since that, that young man, with the, the, the child was a child, she's been praying. But at 42 years old, she was still praying for him. 42 years old, believing that God could move. And one night, as we were saying, we have God's DNA. And she put her hand in her ears to represent the ear of her son who was sleeping at that time. And she was awake and she put her hand in her ear and say, I declare, uh, declare my son, his name was Junior. Junior has your 
DNA in the name of Jesus Christ. Junior has your DNA. Let the life of God come into Junior's ear. So she prayed, and the service was over. She went, you know, she went to her room and, you know, to sleep. When she woke up in the morning, she realized that Junior, his, her son, had already, uh, uh, um, uh, um, you know, waken up before her. And notice, because the son, the only way that he could possibly hear was to have a device in his ear that allowed him to hear a little bit, but without it, he doesn't hear anything at all. And when she woke up in the morning and realized that the device was on the table, and then she checked and she realized the son wasn't in the house. The son is not in the house and the device is on the table. And she already, already knows what happened because he can't hear. So he can get, you know, struck by a car. He can get himself killed because he can't hear what's going on around him. So she said she spent all the time and, and she's worried what's going to happen to my son. Is he going to come back home, etc. Finally, almost half in the mid middle of the day, the son came back and she started communicating to the son. How can you go without, without your devices? You know you can't hear without them. You're putting yourself in danger. And the son opened his mouth and spoke the son who has never spoke opened his mouth and says mom i don't need it because i can hear healing flows healing 42 years old since he was a child but God opened the ears and God opened the mouth. And I declare whatever sickness that you have in your life, in your body, in your soul, in your spirit, during those 40 days, let the healing of God flow in your life, flow in your body, flow in your family, flow in your mind, flow in your soul, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching that video. If it was a blessing to you, click the red button that says subscribe. Click now. Now! Do it now.